Hey guys, I just want to do a quick video to show you um, a fix that I found for installation of Ubuntu 14.04. Uh, this is the 64-bit version, but I believe it should work the same for the 32-bit version. A common problem that happens that straight after installation, when you've uh, successfully installed the operating system on your disk, and you're booting up uh, again, you're restarting um, your system for the first time. Now. What happens after the initial uh, grub loader, you will find that you're going to have a blank screen and also the mouse, mouse cursor may appear and that's it. So this usually happens with a problem with the X Nouveau, sorry, the X Org X Server Nouveau Display Driver, which um, didn't used to happen in 12.04 as far as I can tell. Um, now, I've installed this on quite a few systems and I've had the same problems, but I found a workaround and I'm going to show you now. Now, if you can see currently on the screen, and I apologize if the um, quality is not that great, I'm going to try to do this on a record capture screen. <clears throat> now, currently I have um, the problem that th the problem is about the actual driver of uh, the NVIDIA display graphics card. Now, now, this graphics card is quite an old one, it's a GE47300LE. Um, some websites say it's been blacklisted, but that's that may be true for the previous um, generation graphics card and for the previous drivers. So what happens usually is when you do uh, install Ubuntu for the first time, out of the box, it's going to be selected down here. I'm going to select this for you. The x.org x server, which is selected by default, which is what causes the problem of the blank black screen and the cursor mouse to appear only. So how to do this is actually, I'm going to show you later, but all I want to um, show you right now is you actually need this one, the using NVIDIA uh, legacy binding driver version 304.125 from NVIDIA 304, the open source version. There is a proprietary version with the updates. I've had issues with these as well. The proprietary versions um, and I've had issues with the 173 actually sorry the 173 did work but the graphics uh, abilities were not very great um, and I'm gonna have to stress again this um, graphics uh, fix around is only for normal graphical abilities not for gaming I have not tested this for gaming obviously and uh, this is actually an old PC that I have um, it was given by a client and I'm trying to repurpose it I'm doing a dual boot on their Windows and Ubuntu for my work purpose um, okay so the way to do this is I want to show you how I'm going to restart it and see what and I'm sure what you have to do so I'm going to end this right um, there is a website here for the Nvidia I'm going to put a link in the description where I got the workaround and basically this is to add PPA for Ubuntu 14.04 13 uh, sorry 14.04 30.10 13.04 and 12.10 um, so there's a separate command for adding these PPAs to these distros and there's a slightly different command for the distros before 12.10 which is 12.04, 11.10, 11.04 and 10.04 right so I use this one the first one I'm gonna put link I'm gonna put the commands in there and uh, basically you have to input these three commands and then you will find that on the additional drivers you're going to have this new driver which I just showed you. Right, let's see how to do this. Right, first, initially when you are going to start your system or restart your system after first installation, your screen is going to become blank. Now, I have to I have to remind you, I right now on this computer I have a dual boot. So, it's going to boot to the grub loader. However, if you don't have a dual boot, right after this screen this post but this this logo screen you have to press shift and hold on to shift and uh, you are going to see your grub loading menu in which there's going to be a couple of options for you right right now because of my dual boot my grub load is working so but when you do boot up you're going to want to boot up and press shift straight after your screen what the motherboard company you're with straight after the logging screen for the boot for the logo screen appears press and hold shift and you're going to come to an advanced options for ubuntu and you want to select the advanced options for ubuntu which is usually the second line from the top and you want to press enter and you're going to get a couple of 
options again S some versions you'll have more but you want to select the recovery mode which is the second line from the top of here some other versions you may have a lot more so you want to select just the recovery mode and you press on that um, what this is doing is a bit like the safe mode um, for Windows where you're going to boot with some of the drivers disabled and uh, right right uh, you're going to come to this screen and what you want to do now is just click on the first one which is resume normal boot and it's going to tell you that you're going to now exit recovery mode and continue to the boot sequence press ok and just wait for it it's going to now load the safe recovery drivers to be able to log in it should usually work if you bear with me right uh, while we're waiting i'm going to be doing a short video um, soon to show you how to install Ubuntu on a fresh new system right okay right now if you've done it correctly you should get to this screen okay and uh, the display will look a little bit big for you at first so now what you want to do is you want to head on to the website that I've posted the link for in the description for the NVIDIA driver and uh, if you don't want to do this you don't have to I but depending on what um, NVIDIA graphics card you have you, it may not be found in this so um, but for this particular graphics card and I believe it covers if you go down further below there's a series of graphics card that it shows which covers for this fix so hopefully yours should be one of them right all you need to do there are three line command lines you need to input so for me uh, this is Ubuntu 14.04 so this will work for 13.10 13.04 and 12.10 so this first command line which is sudo apt dash add repository space ppa column xorg dash edges forward slash ppa you want to add this to the repository so you want to open a terminal which is you you can click on the uh, dashboard and type in terminal t e r and you will see the terminal and or you can just press control alt and t together um now i've copied this first line which is also in the description just you want to right click and paste this here oops i made a mistake i did not copy it you just go back and copy this you want to copy and go to the terminal right click and paste and you press enter I've already done this so just press enter and it's gonna ask you to confirm and press enter just say yes so that's the first one thing you need to do straight away after you need to update your PPA and the rest of oops just sudo with the command sudo app get update oh, I can't get... sorry I'm trying to copy and film at the same time right so the next command you want to do is oops if you want to up, update all your stuff and press enter and when that's done the last thing you want to do is the last command is sudo app get install nvidia current nvidia settings and again you want to copy and paste that into Your command prompt. Oops. Paste. This we do. God damn it! I keep forgetting. I haven't used Ubuntu in a while. And that's the last command you need to input. After this is done, you can off this, and you want to go to your additional drivers by typing on the additional drivers. And what you will see is this software and update window and you want to click on the right which says additional drivers and it's going to look for the additional drivers and hopefully if you've done this correctly right now you will see the last the latest driver which is here this should appear the uh, NVIDIA Legacy uh, Binary Driver version 304.125 from NVIDIA dash 304, the open source version. Previously, if you had not done this, this uh, three commands, you would not see this uh, particular driver up in here. 
the selected one would have been using x.org server and that's why it was causing this problem now i have to say that the last one here using nvidia legacy, legacy binding driver version 173.14.39 from nvidia dash 173 proprietary has worked for me in the past on some systems however the graphics ability was not as fast as it should be but this one seems to be working quite fine now after you've done this um you may want to close it actually there's one thing that i would advise you to do this obviously do this first straight after installation before you do any major updates or installing any of the software well i would advise also is to quickly go to ubuntu software tab and just make sure you've clicked all the sub uh, um sub domains here i'm not sure it's called domain sorry but you know you click all the tick boxes and the other software as well especially the first two normally by default they're not ticked so the canonical partners and the canonical partners source code make sure you tick them to enable the, them to be added to the repository i think okay guys and if you press close it's going to reload you know uh, update the cache and reload the system and that's it really so you make sure that um you can check your additional drivers again to see if, if the new display driver has been selected and go ahead and reboot and that should work this is what has worked for me all the time and i've installed this on about i think about eight systems so far with ubuntu 14.04 and this is how i've been able to uh, correctly configure the display problem so thanks for watching guys hopefully this has helped you uh i'm not an expert in ubuntu um uh dual user with Windows and Ubuntu, do like Ubuntu quite a lot. Like I said again, this one is a dual boot with Windows. Your one, if you're installing directly on a system with no other operating system, you will need to press onto your shift key on the keyboard straight after the logo for the motherboard or the company of the computer appears. And this should bring you to the advanced recovery mode or recovery mode for Ubuntu and select the advanced options. Uh, and uh, hopefully for me, as you can see now, um, I've, already, I've just done this fix just before I shoot this video, so it's rebooted, and uh, hopefully you should see that it's going logging straight into the um, the um, main desktop. Hopefully, yeah, this is an old HDD, and it's not very fast. Um, it's for work. Ubuntu 40 mod is for. Let's hope you work. And um, come on. There we go. I think we should be okay. Man, I need to get an SSD. Voila! There we go. Display back on. And if you want to quickly check and uh, your additional drivers. One second. And uh, if you've done this correctly, you should have the new driver display. And here we go, the, using the NVIDIA Legacy Binary Driver version 304.125 from NVIDIA-304 open source in bracket. Here you go guys, hope this has helped you and uh, stay tuned for further videos. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment and uh, hope to see you soon. Take care.